The Russian bath is definitely a diamond in the rough. Some people who come, they don't really know what they're getting into. Welcome to Russian bath. This place is 1892, my friend. This bathhouse is older than the Empire State Building. We have a lot of people who come in from the street, they see the Russian-Turkish bath, and then they look to their left and they see the restaurant, and they see all this Russian traditional food as well. It's one of the best Russian food here in New York City. Everybody come and see they eat our portion. We are customers who don't go downstairs, they just come to eat. They're really surprised because food's very amazing, very good taste. We don't do any advertising. It's mostly word of mouth. It's not really a regular spa. It's definitely a very traditional, old-school vibe. My name's Dasha, and I'm one of the owners of the Russian-Turkish Baths. We're between First Avenue and Avenue A, which is just one of many avenues and streets in New York. The chances of finding it by walking by it are slim. The Russian Turkish Baths is a great place to come relax. This is Chris, my husband. We're gonna show you through all the rooms. So this one is the Redwood Sauna Room, and it's like a really dry heat. Right here, we have the aromatherapy room. We put a eucalyptus in it, and then you breathe it in, and it helps you open up to your lung. This is strictly wet heat. So this right here, this is a cold plunge pool. You get a plaza, you come in here, and it's a cold plunge, and you're just it feels amazing. Really cold. <laughs> I want to say like 25 degrees. Yeah, freezing. It's freezing in there. Last but not least, radiant heat Russian room. Hottest room in this place. Well, this Everyone, is like the Schwitz. This is what we're famous for. We've heard people come across the globe just to come in this room. Hottest room in New York. If you go in there, you're going to come out feeling really good. So this is where the magic happens. Leon's magic. A lot of people don't realize we have a restaurant here until they see it. And it's really well known for like our Russian borscht. Like there are people who will come and not steam. They're steamers, but just that day, they're really craving the borscht. Borscht is a cold Slavic soup. It's Russian, Ukrainian, uh, cabbage, uh, beets, uh, carrots. We eat with sour cream. These borscht are enough just for one day. People like borscht here, and they eat every day. Traditional Russian, of course, beef stroganoff. Pelmeni, pancakes, crepe, blini. Blini is uh, crepes, French crepes, thin pancakes. We have Olivier, Russian salad. Traditional uh, salad with uh, meat we make here, vegan. And then we also have treatments. So we have mud salt and soap treatment. The mud is dead sea salt mud, so it's like imported and you feel the burn. <laughs> the plaza is our most traditional treatment. I always tell people that it's like an experience. It's with the oak leaves. It's like a special therapist who does it. And he sort of beats you with the leaves, but it feels amazing. I do it all the time. Class number one. This is the best treatment in the world. If you have cancer, you can come here no more after this treatment. Because this treatment gives you circulation blood and kill everything negative inside your body. But house like my home now because I work here since 2000 and this family, like my sister, brothers, you know, I love this place. Well, lots of this is my favorite treatment. It's very nice and people relax. Hardcore heat, but you know, when you, your body starts shaking after. <laughs> but of course, yeah, it's more, more, mostly chill here. Yeah. First of all, quality. We not buy too, too much uh, food here because I buy every day fresh. We also have fish cutlet and chicken cutlet. We have like a juice bar as well. It's really about like health and enjoying yourself. This is like a Russian breakfast. 
Pancakes stuffed with salmon, pancakes with caviar, pancakes stuffed uh, with ground chicken with mushroom and herring with marinated red onion and uh, beef sausage and eggs. This is a uh, traditional uh, Russian breakfast. Bon appétit. <laughs> Приятного аппетита. <laughs> New York is an ever-changing city. And here we have this stuck-in-time place. This bathhouse has been here since 1892. The bathhouse has been pretty much the same for the past 20 years. It's definitely a very old-school, traditional vibe. A lot of different celebrities have come. Music artists, political figures. Right here you have Al Pacino. There's news articles, how people used to come. This is actually two boards, it's LL Cool J. Yeah, John Belushi, he's very famous here. Run DMC used to come around here. I heard John God used to come here. How true is it? I'm not too sure. So the gangsters would come steam because that was like somewhere where they couldn't wear a wire because it's like wet in the steam room. The massage therapists were deaf so that they couldn't hear anything that the gangsters were planning or saying. And there's definitely a lot of old New York history here. We have Russian beer here, Ukrainian, Zolotaya Bochka. If translated, it's like gold uh, barrel. <laughs> I'm from uh, St. Petersburg, Russia. I live in New York for three years. Dreams come true. I never been to New York before, but I felt New York. New York said, welcome, Leon. And I do what I like it, and I'm happy. I love customers. Customers love my food. Do you ever go downstairs? Do you ever use the baths? Who, me? Yeah, you? Yeah. No. No? Why not? I don't know. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. New York is like known for being a super fast-paced place. This is definitely somewhere where you can come and relax and get rid of the stress of your week. Like for people who come in off the street, we have shorts. Robes, towels, slippers right over here as well. Some people bring their own Russian hat. It keeps you warm. You, you dump water over it. So you put it on and you sit in the room like this. You wet it and it keeps your head cool. And you just relax. No worries in the world. I love this place because people come for health. They detox, they body, they soul. Well, it's mostly cleansing. Like you clean your soul, you clean your body. We don't have customers. We have more like family members here. Always oh, tell this young fellow here that like, we don't have customers. We have family members here. Right, right Ruben? Absolutely. I'm Boris's granddaughter. My grandpa's from Moscow. My grandpa came to New York in the 70s. So when he found this location, he was like, this is perfect, this is where it has to be. And his partner, David, and them together made it what it is now. So this is the roof deck. During the summer, this patio deck is Packed. People smoking, eating, drinking beer. In the winter out. too. It's funny. Uh, we didn't meet on like no social media or anything. I used to work down the street. It was like a true love story. And she would come to the coffee shop and get the same drink every day. And I realized uh, she doesn't want the same drink. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you know, I had to smile at her, give her my number. And you know, <laughs> now we're here. Six months pregnant. And that's actually supposed to be the owners right there, like painted. It's a family business. So me and my brother run the bathhouse here on Boris Week. It's like Boris and David were working together and then they just decided to split it up. Boris days and David's days. This is dumplings, beef dumplings. This is your dumplings. This, I don't know what's going on in this Dasha, what's it called in English? A ceramic bowl? Anyway, what is it in Russian? Glinyny Gashochik. I don't know. I will use translator. And I show you clay pot for dumplings. It's very tasty. Sometimes we'll be hanging outside and people will be like, oh, what, what is that? What's in there? And I just tell them they have to come inside and see. What do they know? <laughs> Having a place to escape. You can come here and sweat out all the toxins. Then you can eat. You can hang out with your friends on the roof deck. 
That's like part of why people come here. It's stuck in time. They don't want us to redo it. Like sometimes I'll say, oh, maybe we'll, you know, revamp this section or whatever. And people are like, no, no, don't touch anything. It has to stay the same. This place you come to enjoy. After lots, after this food, after Russian room, you go home, you like happy. What we need in our life, have health and happiness.